I remember very clearly that she was telling like constantly, I don't feel good, I feel headache all the time, I feel nauseous. And the surgeon just put the, the implant in and the implant just get infected two days later. It was like the third or fourth surgery. They have to remove the implant. So after the first implant didn't work that well, we started looking through different options. And my oldest sister, Gabriela, she was really into everything. And we started watching videos about how they, they were making it. It looked so precise, looked so good. So we just decided to trust again. Traditional head skull implants are made of two materials. The first one, it's basically acrylic. It's a solution that could bring a lot of trouble later for the patient. The head trauma uh, covered with acrylic uh, could be uh, infected. Also, it's very difficult for the surgeons and the hospital to put it on, uh, expose the body to, to longer surgery uh, periods. And the second choice is titanium mesh. In the few years, the titanium mesh will expose through the skin. So it's a very, very painful process for the patient. Every day I receive a phone call from the mom or the husband saying, Adriana is worse every day, Adriana is coming down, Adriana is getting depressed. Please hurry, please do it as fast as you can. We use pretty much all the suite of Autodesk products from uh, Fusion 360, Inventor, Power Mill, uh, Recap. It depends what we're doing uh, or what part of the design process we are, it's the software that we use. Her implant was very, very, very tough because it's not a small implant. It's pretty much half of the skull. 3D printing parts, complex parts, takes a lot of resources. It's so critical it, and when you're manipulating uh, or you're dealing with, with 3D meshing, it's, it's from CD scan, the scans could be very, very huge. NetFab is helping us to optimize printing beds, to, to plan better runs and 3D printing, to get more material done in less time, to get the meshes perfect to the 3D printing processes. We're using PowerShape for doing a reverse engineering processes inside the implants. Today, uh, we could say that uh, PowerMill is cutting all the implants that we have designed and manufactured. Our approach is very different from uh, everyone. It's a custom-made or tailor-made implant. So uh, we try to design that uh, implant to fit uh, in just one move uh, into the surgery. And so it lowers the time or exposure into surgery. We use a material that is completely biocompatible, that is called PIC, polyether acetone. And it's a material that is, has many properties. One of them is that the body will not attack the material and it will not produce an infection. It came the day of surgery and, and Carlson and I was there in the surgery room. When they took out the implant from the sterilized bag and they put it on the skull and we all saw that it fit perfectly, everybody were so happy and say like, it worked, it's fantastic. Afterwards, when I came back and I saw her, I, her tone of voice was great and it was a huge difference just to see her loosen, remembering what day is it, like a lot of things, you know, like joking, even joking. The greatest reward of what I do is seeing the people after the surgery and seeing that they're okay. I went the next day to meet her and she received me with a huge smile and say thank you for what you have done for me, you have changed my life. <laughs>